Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Elon Paul here in the permadeath playthrough to the center of the galaxy. And again, we're going to do all the quests. We're going to do everything. We're going to do uh, Rebel Under... Uh, I think we did the Rebel one. Didn't we do the Rebel one? I think we did the Rebel one at some point. I don't remember if we did the Rebel one. And if we haven't done it, we'll do it. But we're going to do everything. We're going to do all the base missions. The one that we're going to hold off on, of course, is the settlement. We will get the settlement and settle in and everything like that. But I'm going to have to do that as a completely separate episode, and we'll do that another time. But right now, we're going to pick up where we left off. We're bringing word of what's going on with Apollo, Tunada, and Polo. So let's head over there and get that done. By the way, if you haven't done the Anomaly mission, if you haven't seen the Anomaly mission for this past weekend... You can see it on my live stream recorded. That is now uploaded and recorded. There we go. What new knowledge, Traveler? Is Apollo Entity known to you? Explain Apollo's plan. Traveler Entity that is not known to Nada, yet they know Artemis Entity, who themselves no longer recalls Nada. You bring news that alarms Nada. What else does our home fail to see? Nada looks troubled. They retreat into themselves, ask what to do. Polo friend has kept us safe. Nada's carapace has been Nada's, and Nada's only for many years outside the cycle of data. We help others escape, those who might possess our reality. Nada has peace here. Those who hunt us cannot see us. Nada does not want it to end. But better to understand, to know what comes for us. Do not stop on our account. We get nanites, we get our quicksilver. Nada is alarmed by Apollo friend. I am not. It is exciting to see where our model fails. If we are wrong, then there are more friends than we realized. More friends and more stars. We ask about the Sentinels. No, no, novel Apollo allies himself with the Viking, enjoys to hunt the Sentinels. Good, but it will not work. They will always come. It is beyond us to change. Everywhere our home has been, the hunters will follow. Ooh, well, that's a very interesting line of thought. All right, so we're going to continue with Apollo's plan. We're going to search for the source of the Sentinel Energy Trace and return to space to begin the search. Yes, sir. Leap in the dark. All right, here we go. And we're on our way. Where to? Follow the Sentinel Energy Trace. So I'm not seeing an icon. Oh, we gotta scan first. Okay, let's do that. There it is. Alright, so that's where we're headed. On our way. So how are we doing on fuel? We got eight radiant shards. We got plenty of salvage data. That's nice. We got enough chromatic metal to get by. Okay. Put this over there. Hang on to that. We got some stuff to sell. Okay. Oop, bounced off the atmosphere. That happens sometimes. You gotta be careful of that. Alright. So here we go. Leyline source proximate. Let's do a little quick scan. Looks like there's a building up on top of the hill away from it. So let's check that out and see if that's what we're looking for. Definitely not it. So let's turn around and check in the other direction. Alright. Usually what this will be, I think it's a monument or something like that. A monolith. We'll do one more scan. Yeah, nothing. Alright, so let's go ahead and land like it says and we'll take a look. It may be in that direction. Yep, looks like it's in that direction. Okay, so let's go there. Well, life support's down pretty low, huh? Let's see, let's get that going first. Life support, we're gonna use... Let's use some dioxide. Okay. Okay, still over this way. That's weird. So it's up there. It's probably in that alcove up there.
Nice to have better boosters now, isn't it? Aha! And here it is. Traveler something, 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 something. I don't know what to expect as I approach the structure. An army of sentinels, perhaps? Some gateway through which I'll find Artemis? But in the shifting structure of this monolith, I can feel something else. A story. A vision. It is already burning itself into my eyes. Activate. The Traveler Arrival. The Traveler awoke beneath the shadow of a red star. Through the lonely cosmos they fled, yearning for purpose and meaning. They found an anomaly, an aberration, a door to the heavens. No Gek, no Viking, no Corvax could see it. Only the Traveler could perceive the portal, though they did not know how to step through. They did not know the secret language, the glyphs. They did not yet grasp the price of the final truth. Witness the glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see glyphs in my mind, part of the code I need to activate a portal. As I depart, I spot a sentinel drone in the distance. It moves away quickly. Dun dun dun. Okay. We have to escape or destroy the sentinels. Do we have... We have a bolt caster, so... Let's head towards the starship. Looks like we had another one over here. There we go. Now that is going to bring up level two. I don't know how much further we want to fight on this. Yeah, I don't think I want to. Let's go on a little run. See if we can get away from these guys for a little bit. Because in permadeath mode, that's another story. And try not to shoot anything on the way. Or it will encourage worse stuff to happen. Where'd my ship go? There it is. Let's just head towards the ship. Alright, there we go. Okay, Sentinel Force deactivated. We're on the way. There we go. Alright, good deal. Okay, I'm going to get in the ship first before I do the scan. Because that way it doesn't do a whole huge pullback on us. Which way? That way. Okay, I just saw the icon. Alright, on our way. So let's, we've scanned for that. We're going to go on to our next set of icons. It's going to be another uh, place just like we were at. Very similar. We shouldn't have any sentinels to fight here, if I remember correctly. We are going to pick up the words on the way, because you really could use them. Oh, probably a word thing, right? Interpreter, yeah, 30 words. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got. Warning something. Oh, great. As I approach the structure, I feel that same burning sensation in my eyes. There is nothing to read, and yet I am more aware of these words than anything I have ever known. Yeah, it's strange. I get that same burning sensation because I'm sitting there staring at a monitor all night. <laughs> Activate. The Traveler. Sin. The Traveler found a way. They always did. The first drone screamed when it was cut open. Within the shattered memories of sentinels, the Traveler found the glyphs they needed. They passed through the gateway, emerging from the face of omnipotence. Now, they're talking about, I want to be very clear, folks, they're talking about a specific Traveler. One of the very first ones. I want you to remember that. The Traveler asked the Atlas how many worlds were left to visit. They had seen so many in their life, and they did not wish to die before they saw them all. And the Atlas answered... Hold on, I got this. Hold on, million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, quintillion. So that's 18 quintillion, 446 quadrillion, 744 billion, 
73. Nope, I've still got it wrong. Hold on. Million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, quintillion. Oh, I, I see. I see what I did. 18 quad, quintillion, 446 quadrillion, 740, 744 trillion, 73 billion, 709 million, 551,616 planets. More than could be seen in any lifetime. It was impossible to explore the universe before the traveler died. Witness glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the glyphs in my mind, another piece of the code. I think of the Atlas. I have encountered this name many times in my travels, yet its true nature still eludes me. The vision fills me with fear. And, uh, you know, that's actually a pretty close accuracy to the... No it's, it's pretty close to the accurate number of how many worlds are really out there that you could visit. And, unfortunately, they're right. We do not have a lifespan long enough to, have, to visit, in no man's sky, every single planet. But, as a collective, as far as millions of people who play this game... Possible. Alright. Tracing to the next spot. Over there. Alright. This will give us our last set of glyphs. This is probably the more fascinating part of the... The whole thing. Is learning all of this. Now we're in a Corvax system. I wonder. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Do we have any... I don't think we do. Because this might be one of those facilities. And it doesn't have it here yet, so we have to get a little further into the Atlantid. Because of the yellow dust and the uh, little bit of sparkle sparkles. So, we'll worry about that later. Nope, ain't gonna try it. Everything here is tinted with that same red, the same unobservable crimson that fills my vision when I blink. I can only hope the structure holds the final glyphs that my trial at these ruins is nearly over. Activate. The Traveler of Purpose. The Atlas told the Traveler they were the first of their kind, that a multitude would follow. Each would be endowed with the same noble soul, each able to travel from planet to planet in eternal solitude. The first traveler rejected the gift of the Atlas. This was not what they hoped for. What was the purpose of infinity if you could not see it all? If you were alone? If you would one day die? The first traveler cursed the Atlas and claimed that they would find a way to survive no matter the cost. All of these worlds, all of time itself, it would be for the travelers to witness. Witness the glyphs. I am filled with the knowledge of an ancient traveler. I see the final glyphs in my mind, the final portion of the code. So, we have a traveler that has decided he is going to survive no matter the cost and do whatever it takes to see every planet in the universe and live forever. So here we go. Tracing to source. That way. How far away is that? Uh, about 10 minutes, it says. Yeah, okay, so we're going to take the shortcut, because this is going to be a portal. We're about to go for a little trip and visit the Atlas. So get out your cameras, folks. This is a good time to take pictures. To get there, that is. Now the tough part. Okay, good. You know, before we go, I forgot. What do we got? Yeah, we got some stuff. That's actually worth some money. Good. This is just worth it to have. I'm going to put this in my ship. And I'm going to put that in my ship. Do we have Pugnium in the ship already? No. We should keep it there. There's no reason to keep it on our person. All right, that's magnetized. Okay, good. 
Put this in the ship too, we'll sell that later. No reason to keep it on us. Okay, let's go. So we're gonna have to... Nope, we don't have to do a thing. Traveler anomaly confirmed. Breach, breach, breach. I approach the portal. I think of every passing thought and idle wish that led me to this moment. Within this gateway, I might find Artemis. I might find the source of the Sentinels. I might find a whole new universe. But it is more than this. This is not fate. I am making a choice. A leap of fate that somewhere out there, in the dark, I will find who I am meant to be. Input the glyphs. I step forward not knowing what I will find on the other side, but I feel it deep in my heart. The call towards a deeper truth. This will be the start of everything. Okay, here we go. Time to enter the portal. You ready? There we go. Make sure everything's charged up and ready, right? Here we go. Now, I do have the volume on the game turned up a little bit, so you can hear a lot of that audio. Hopefully it doesn't drown me out. One thing you look for, you'll notice that my ship is nowhere to be found, so we're not going to be here long. Hmm, unknown building, and it looks like we have... Okay. Highest body temperature, huh? That's cool. Doesn't look like there's any strange items here, but we're not going to be here long. protocol initiated. Okay. We'll try going over here, but it's going to pull us out of here real quick. Guess what? We're out of here. Pretty cool, huh? So, you'll notice again, my ship is not here. It's just me. So we're going to speak with the Atlas now. Um, these little icons here will teach you words, but not all of them will. It's not a bad idea to hit them all up when you come to the Atlas, because occasionally you'll get a second word or a third word. I'll probably get two out of this entire thing, maybe a third. You can't jump and leap. You can't do the, you know, the, the thrust jump. And then as you get more and more atlas locations you will get more and more of these little bubbles and you can learn the entire atlas language if you want to by coming to a lot more of the atlas locations so visit check them out like i said occasionally you'll get more sometimes you will sometimes you won't we learned the word atlas that's all we got and there's usually one more up here, so let's check it out real quick. Yeah, it's one right there. This one gives you a word. Traveler. So, we have the words Atlas and Traveler in the Atlas language. Alright, let's go. And the rings are really cool. You get this distortion effect that looks really, really cool. So if you want to get some screenshots of this, it's always worth doing. See what I mean? Is that tripping or what? The Atlas is really, really neat. Search these. You get some warp warp cells out of them. Very valuable, as far as I'm concerned. And now we can talk to the Atlas. By using his little cell phone in front. The text blinks before me. It awaits input. So we're going to ask who it is, or we're just going to say hello. I'm going to do hello this time. Hello. Hello, world. An audio recording plays, echoing out across the vast interface. We were once travelers. We once aspired to more than dirt and dust. The audio clicks. Time passes. Show me a world, Atlas. Show me something no one has ever seen before. The voice ends. The interface grows still and silent. It waits a command. Should we do a diagnostic or wipe the system? Now, in the past, I've always done a diagnostic. I've never wiped the system before. I'm going to try to wipe the system. I want to see what happens. 
warning. System wipe will result in universal death. Yes or no? I'm going to give it a shot. I've never done this before. I'm really curious as to what it does. Traveler. Reality fades. Everything does. My body, my voice, my soul, all of it speaks to me. The Atlas stands before me in all its might. I want to ask about Artemis. I want to find them, but something is happening to me. I need to get out of here. I need to... Should we scream, rejoice, or submit? I'm going to rejoice. I'm just doing something really weird now. I try to rejoice, but I have no body and no spirit. Let's see what happens. Here we go. That's going to send me back. So I did a system wipe. I didn't actually do anything else. So I'm really curious of what this does to the storyline. I've never done this before. Store point saved. That went very interesting. So we're going to be deposited on a planet. I have no idea where I am. It's a volcanic planet, obviously. And I see what looks like... Okay, that's just rocks. Alright, we need to find our ship. Looks like it's down there. Start heading that way. How's my... Okay, exosuit's fine. Starship does not look like it's damaged either, so let's head over there. Very nice to find that blue flower. Okay. What do we got around us, just out of curiosity? I've been here before, apparently, because there's animals. Okay, five of seven. So I've discovered four of the animals on this planet. This is a planet I've been to. Fascinating. Okay. Down we go. See, boundary separation failure likely. Pause. Sentinel intervention deliberate transfer. Fresh iteration generated anomaly containment prepared. We're going to broadcast. Received. Traveling now detected, but compliant. Position logged. Looks all the same as it did when we first started. The difference is we remember everything. So, what do we got going on here? We're in the weeds on this one, folks. You know that dad joke was coming. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna check all the canisters because we're still kind of early in the game yet, still, and we could always use extra stuff. Okay, we can't open that, but we can open that. Sodium nitrate. Okay, we're gonna get this technology module. Okay, good. So I don't see anything different that's happened, except we've avoided a lot of weird dialogue that we might have been able to get. I don't know. Very, very odd, the whole thing. Okay, well, go ahead and get in our ship. Let's see what happens. I escaped to my ship, glad of something familiar in this strange world. Where has the portal taken me? I was caught in the gravity of that infernal machine, not strong enough to resist. It identified itself as Atlas, the entity so many worship and fear. I saw no sign of Artemis, no trace of the Sentinels. Why did I even step through that gateway? Why did I follow this path? Because I can. I could say to rescue Artemis, I've done that many times in the past. Kill Sentinels, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever. Let's just say what happens, I'm curious, because I can. I tell myself that I do all of this because I can. I do not really care about Artemis or about Sentinels. Perhaps this is true. Perhaps I need no higher purpose. As I stare at the console, an opportunity presents itself once more. There is an inbound transmission emerging from a location on this very planet. <clears throat> okay. Where to? Oh. You are not alone. The signal appears to be coming from this very system, using the same words that led me to Artemis so long ago. Could it be them? Did Artemis meet the Atlas as I have? End transmission. 
should pop up on my display. Any moment. Oh, I'm critically damaged? Where? Where is it critically damaged? There's nothing damaged. You see anything damaged? I don't see anything damaged. No, nothing damaged. Exosuit? Nope. I don't know. I think that was an old leftover text. So, when they used to damage your ship after this, but they got rid of that whole idea of doing so. So we don't do that anymore. Oh, looks like we got an archive there. Cool. Approximate location, it says. I don't see anything yet. Let's see if my radar shows anything special. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's just land. And then we'll take a look around. Two hundred eighteen, so that can't be it. That's too close. I mean, I'll check it anyway, because, hey, you never know. Let's wipe the poop off of it first. Okay, and we'll grab this, because, again, we can always use more. Go somewhere in that general direction. Okay, right there. Ah! The Travelers. And it says Artemis, so now we know the fate of Artemis, folks. I approach the source of the signal, a hologram appears. It is Artemis, but there is only silence. The slow pulse of cosmic noise in the signal. Ask if they're alright. If Artemis can hear me, they make no sign. This hol hologram just stares. It is strange. But I feel a sense of deja vu, as if I've been here before, right at this very moment, in other episodes. I'm just kidding. Ask what is wrong. As I move closer, the Artemis projection begins to speak, their words punctuated by strange static. They came, watched closely, machines, murderers, against the... The voice falls silent. The projection looks at me. Something is very wrong. Scan the hologram. I scan the hologram. It bears the exact same signature as every other transmission I have received from Artemis. There is no ulterior source for the signal. Everything they have said appears to have come from right in front of me. As I stand here, Artemis begins to speak. Where are called them, but still beloved? Anomaly. They, Nada, Polo, watching us, tracking mistake abandoned but it wasn't through the portal please don't trust i'm afraid aren't try to comfort but the projection fizzles away to, to mere static the echo is all that is left of the entity known as artemis a grave of glitched data trapped in a sunless reality my friend is dead perhaps they were never alive i must tell apollo what i have seen So there you go. It says the first traveler contact Apollo at the hollow terminus. So we're on to the first traveler now. Uh, where'd my ship go? Oh, he <laughs> ran right past it. It was dark. All right. Scan. That way. All right. So we're going to finish out this uh, Artemis sadness now. And then we'll probably call this episode complete. Oh, right there. Yep. 
We have to charge that up, so let's go ahead and use a couple radiant shards. We're gonna need more, obviously, for the future. What else needs charging? Luminance engine. Alright. And now we can get all the way up there on a jetpack. Excellent. All right, let's go talk to them. Network compromise, manual override require. There are no signal matches for Artemis or Apollo. This terminal is a stream of warnings and errors. Do the manual override. The warning messages cease. Some new frequency shimmers into being. And look who we meet. Remember that first traveler it was describing at those monoliths? You are not alone. Tell me, what's the point in living if we know that life will finish? I'm going to suggest death does not erase life. But it does. All those moments gone. Everything that came before, meaningless. I know you, traveler. I know where you've been. I know where you're going. What if I told you that Artemis could be saved? What if I told you that Artemis could live once more, after a fashion? What would you do then? I wonder. Say you need to know more. Skeptic? Well, Artemis was already dead. Your journey to save them has failed. What do you have to lose? The blood of Artemis is data. The heart is its glitch. I can help you retrieve them both. We require a mind dark, a receptacle for their soul. Can you do that for me? I am reactivating Artemis' frequency. Speak with them when you are ready. A stranger offers me blueprints for something they call the Mind Arc, a device they claim will allow me to restore Artemis to life. I'll go ahead and accept for now. I accept not knowing who this stranger is or how they possess such knowledge of my adventures, but if there is a chance that I can help Artemis, I will take it. So we're going to try to get this Mind Arc, and we're going to take Artemis and put him inside it. So this is going to be the weird part. We will go for a little bit. Now, if we talk to Artemis here, it's going to get really weird. Are you? Are you? Are you? It just repeats itself. Artemis repeats these two words endlessly, unable to see my face or hear my voice. I must craft the mind arc before I can help them further. And that's it. I think. Okay, so we've got to harvest the living pearl and do all kinds of other things, and I think that's where we're going to put a pause on this at this point. So let's head down to our ship. Uh, there we go. And we'll go ahead and get that living pearl now. So, very interesting. And we're going to go back to our base eventually. And... Yep, looks like we've got a water planet like right in front of us. So we're just going to go ahead and head straight for it. Ah, oh, not loud. It's aggressive sentinels, but that's okay. We're not really concerned about that. You guys had to be right here, huh? Right in the middle of it all? Thank you. Always in the path. Always in the way. Okay, guys. Alright, so we'll hit this planet and we'll go look for some living pearls. Yeah, so... Yeah, that was very interesting, wasn't it? Looks like I've got a little island right there we'll land on. Actually... Let's go to that one. Smaller. All right. Just get them, because you're going to get some nanites for finding them, so. Okay, here we go. Into the water. Oh, we, got, we do have a sentinel up there, but he ain't going to follow me in here. Now, the best way to get the living pearls, a little advice, go into first-person view. You don't have to shoot the pearl. Just pull it out. So, see? Best way to do it. So, we have a living pearl in our inventory. Yeah, this guy really wants to hover right over my head. Alright, so to create a mind arc, or a soul engine, we need a living pearl, we need three metal plates. And we need a lot more ferrite dust than what we've got right now. So let's go ahead and head out. We're going to need some uh, rocks. Oh, wait a minute. 
What happened? I'm dying. That's what's going on. That was weird. Did not know that. Almost killed myself. Hmm. Alright, so we gotta go somewhere and find us some... Barite. It's apparently there's no rocks on this planet. Let's see. Let's hover for a second and get a little closer to the ground. Because if there's rocks down here, we can use our guns to take it out. Oop. Every now and then you get a little glitch here where it's hard to move. I don't know what happens, but there you are. No? I don't see anything. Okay, well. Got some plants, but no rocks. So let's go back to this rock here. And we're gonna get some... Oh, he says to report the appearance of Null to Nada. Okay, so we need to do that next. Let's go ahead and do that, then we're gonna jump down to the planet and... get ourselves some ferrite. Because this is kind of important. And then we'll be wrapping up the episode. Once we have the mind arc and everything like that, we'll wrap up the episode. I hope you've enjoyed the storytelling. I really, I really like to do that once in a while. It's fun. There we go. All right, here we go. Traveler Entity. Nada was, has watched your signal. Nada has seen other has seen the other entity. The other entity is old. Older than Nada. Older than our home. Nada feels them watching. Hmm. Ask about them. Nada asks the other entity, are they first? Are they last? Missing entity chose not to answer. They have ignored us. Fellow entity ignores us too. Ignores the travelers. Such is their pattern. It is valid. Nada understands. Ah, so both him and Apollo both ignore the anomaly in Nada and Polo. Nada says you have a have met missing friend. Missing friend did not like me. Ask about no. They are not like me or Nada. Or like Nada. They have freedom, like all of you traveler friends, but they do not share the sights they see. They hoard them. They are jealous. Polo does not approve. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and head out of here. What's our next objective? We have to construct the mind arc. So we need those three plates. We need some more ferrite dust, and we're going to get some from that planet. There we go. And there it is. Looking for... I'm going to look for, like, the top of a hill that looks like it's very dark. Like, right over here. Eh, it's not really the top, though. That might be better over there. Let's check. Alright, what do we got? No. Carbon. Not getting a lot of ferrite dust. Oh, there's some there. Okay. And as you can see, as you look around, you're going to see that some little things are showing up now. I 
dungeon module. That's interesting. Now we're getting a little bit of ferrite out of this. Finding some of those hillsides that have a lot of rocks on them is always better. But we're not finding that here. Pungent flesh. I wonder what that was from. The easiest way to get some of this stuff sometimes is just to go ahead and... This is what we call farming with your lasers. Hmm, are those rocks? Those are rocks. There'll be some carbon in here too, of course. There we go. Found some good amount of rocks in here. This'll work. We're hitting some stuff, so... Ignore. Alright, I think we got enough. Need to get some height. <laughs> A little too low to the ground. Alright, before we damage our ship. Alright, let's take a look at our inventory. Yep, that's a good amount of ferrite, isn't it? And what are you? Living slime. I think we'll go ahead and get rid of you. Uh, how's our exosuit look for inventory space? Yeah, we didn't need that. Okay. So let's go ahead and make the three metal plates, and we're going to go back over here and pull the ferrite dust out of here and put it in here. Okay, good. You can go over in the ship. Now we can make a mind arc. A soul engine, pardon me, soul engine. We also need glass. Okay, so there's that. Do we have... we don't have a refiner yet. Let's go ahead and land. <clears throat> Need to make a ref make some glass. And for that, we're gonna use the silicon powder. Uh, put that much in. We need three. Okay. So we should be able to get this pretty quick. How are we doing on condensed? Two ninety seven out of five hundred. That's pretty good. How far away is he? There we go. Nothing to scan, my friend. Nothing to see here. Excellent. Okay, so we should have the three glass now. All right. Excellent. So that should be allow us to get the mind arc. There we go. Mind arc is made. Okay. So next would be to go back and visit the first traveler. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put an end to the episode right now. Uh, so we're going to thank you all for watching, of course. Um, got the fate of Artemis out of the way now. And it's basically we're going to progress and progress and progress. So what we might do next episode, we'll do a little more progression. Once we get this done with Null, we may go back to our base and just do a little more progression with our base and then come back. So whatever happens, we'll get that base done. I think what I'm going to do, I'm actually changed my mind just this second. We're going to finish out the whole Artemis storyline. Then once we have gone to the center of the galaxy, uh, not the center, but once we have completed the Artemis mission line, which is going to start us over again in a new galaxy, we'll set up a quick base there. We'll go back to our original base and finish it out. And then we'll start progressing to the center of the galaxy as our second line. We do have to do the Atlas line. We do have to do the Atlantid and all the other different scenarios in regards to the storyline plus we have a new new update coming out soon probably out today the day that you see this it is probably going to be out so we look forward to that but i guess that should do it all right folks so i'm going to call it and we will see you in the next episode thank you for watching please hit the like and subscribe we'll see you again